Hey, welcome to uh, another video from Worlds Overrun. My name's Eric, and I'm here with my friend James, and I'm going to show you guys the Twisted Tower add-on for... It's an add-on? It's an add-on, I believe. It's an add-on. For our current Kickstarter. Uh, we're going to be discussing this briefly and uh, just giving you guys an overview of what's going on. So, um, yeah, this is a this is going to be a this is a file that I'm working on. This is uh, uh, it's going to be there's going to be three variants. Right now, you're seeing the double stair variant uh, on a, attached to a hundred millimeter base. Uh, this is a hundred millimeter base tile. Uh, well, with, they would be if you had to put your screen up. Oh my. Uh, no, I'm recording. I'm I'm recording my screen. So, so there you go. So there you go. Smart ass. Um, I'm actually recording my screen, um, and James couldn't see what I was doing. So now he can see what I'm doing. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, this is a two uh, a two story uh, section. Uh, so I'm going to show you the other variants here. But before I do that, I want to show you how playable this is. So we've got some figures from our friends over at uh, Printable Scenery. Matt made. Um, this guy, who we usually refer to as Sid, he's a 30 millimeter. Uh, he's a 30 millimeter base character, and we've got him set up on these staircases, so you guys can see him. I'll turn them. I'll turn them on. I'll give them some color. There you go. So we're showing them on the steps, and you can see how the clearances are. But this is uh, this is uh, playable. My DM and I have been talking about doing stuff like this for quite some time. Where um, we can really get into a lot of height uh, with our stuff. And this is actually so that we can get to some of the taller platforms that we're building uh, for Inferno, which is, you know, a hell world or a world uh, with magic close to, say, for instance, a, a volcano or or inside the uh, gates of hell. So, yeah. Let me, uh, let me turn off one section here. So this is, this is the full ver version. And then this is just the upper version. So this is going to be an upper version. So let's see here. Let me turn these guys off. So there's the upper version. And like everything, we're going to, we're going to make this so that it prints without, uh, it's going to print in several parts, so it prints without supports. Um, this is going to be the lower version. So here's the lower version here. And I'll turn Sid back on so you can see him on the base. And this will, this will uh, give you access to a lot of things as well. So, um, so yeah, yeah. Uh, you want to bring up? All right, so I got a question. Yeah. How tall will this uh, complete? How tall will this spiral uh, tower be? Uh, the twisted tower, I think it's going to be um, from top to bottom. It's going to be just over 300 millimeters um, because it's supposed to line up with uh, our 300 millimeter uh, floating island. Um, Okay. Are dem we really should have called them in the, just between you and me and the people watching. We should have called them demonic floating islands. This is the demonic floating island, which is still in the works, and so it's from the top of the floating island to the to the uh, open lock tile. Then uh, I say the top; I mean the play surface uh, is 300 millimeters, and this guy is just over that. Because when I was talking to my DM, we had this idea that. You know, these floating islands would be floating and bobbing up and down, and you'd have just a little bit of a jump down to get onto this uh, play platform, which can hold up to, I think we, I think we said that you could, you could jam roughly three squads in there, or have two squads going up against a, uh, a boss type character. Um, it's just that big. Um, <clears throat> and when I say big, I'm talking, it's relatively large. It's not, it's not ginormous by any stretch of the imagination but it's 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 pretty it's pretty substantial um so we're actually talking about this whole structure here the twisted tower in in, in inches it's it's four inches by four inches it's a little over that because the the tower itself extends out beyond the base platform because we use the base platform as sort of a uh, a reference point and then it's going to be about a little over 12 inches tall because 300 millimeters is uh, roughly 12 inches so it's a pretty substantial structure, um, but it's, it's going to be really nice on the table. We're getting ready to cut it up um, and get it prepared for printing. Um, we've already cut, we've already printed some of the floating islands, uh, some of the smaller ones, um, and some of the lower uh, demonic floating islands. Um, uh, but this one here is, uh, this one needs to be distressed, and I need to work on the chains. They're in, the chains are in a block out state right now, where they're just, um, they're just primitive uh, versions of themselves, and they've been trimmed. So there's the wireframe. And we use a little, we, we let a little, little things like overlap uh, help us with making the chains uh, more printable. Um, 
and uh, and we use corrosion. Like if you go down here, you can see some of the corrosion. We use the corrosion to sort of uh, disguise things and fill in some of the volumes so that they definitely look like chains, but they're going to be printable and they're going to be stable. And uh, we we calculate for that stuff. Um, a lot of this stuff I learned uh, the old way uh, by sculpting it physically. Um, so yeah. There's some, some close-up right. shots there. I'm really excited for this piece. Um, this was a piece that we weren't sure we were going to build, uh, but we started talking about the Twisted Towers. We started talking about uh, my DM and I, Lee Winika, uh, started talking about um, this kind of stuff. And, and honestly, this is the kind of stuff that gets uh, that we both get excited about. Um, my team and I are really excited to, to, making the, to make these things um, and, and more so to play with them. Uh, James and... Uh, James and Mike have been talking to me about this for a while, and we've been talking about what the play space is and how the playable nature of this space is. Because there's, if you're playing this like with 40K figures versus D&D figures, you know, cover is going to make uh, a big role in this, and there's a lot of cover in this space. And depending on how you, if you print the, the, the full version versus the segmented version, um, you can get a lot of control for uh, the, the narrative. Uh, and I say narrative, I mean the gameplay um, itself, not that there's necessarily a story, but there's some really cool things that we can do with this. So this is some of the stuff that we're getting ready to present. <clears throat> and I wanted to give you guys a quick uh, quick look at this. I'm going to put this into a posed position, give a little bit of a render. Too bad we, you know, I don't have anybody other than Sid. It'd be nice to have some more, some more characters for reference. But for the purposes of showing you guys uh, what's coming out, in the next couple of days uh, for the Inferno Kickstarter. There you go. Now it's got some shading and lighting on it. Um, this is the uh, Twisted Tower staircase. We, we just call it the Twisted Tower, but it's it's a Twisted Tower, but it's it's stairs so that you can get up to the upper levels. But, yeah. I'd like to make sure everyone stays confused. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> the, the names of things change often. I name something, and then somebody comes along and renames it, and then I get frustrated, and then there's fighting and, and crying and, and broken teeth, and yeah. Broken but, teeth, not crying. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys are excited for this. Um, this is, again, this is a this is a fun piece I made uh, where I just finished uh, putting this together the other day, um, and I've already calculated how I'm going to cut it up. Um, we've been talking about that because James and I talk about that a lot. Because um, we want to make everything as supportless as possible. Um, sometimes we'll put in some manual supports, uh, or I'll put in those manual supports. Um, that way, when you guys get it, you can just throw it on the bed, uh, press the print button, and uh, have a print in, have a part in a, in a, in a, um, in a under a day, and uh, be ready to put it on the table. So yeah, there you go. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions, you know, feel free to check out the Kickstarter or message us over at uh, Worlds Overrun on Facebook.